Hi everyone, I'm Florina and I'm going to be doing an unboxing today. And here's the box. Yay! So excited! It's my first Chanel bag, so I'm really, really excited. Alright, I guess here we go. the iridescent um, caviar leather and I chose the silver hardware with it because um, I really do wear a lot of silver. It's so cute! Okay, so let me... Oh, okay, that was easy. Yay! As Jerusha would say, ding! Um, so I really love this bag because it does have um, the chains which you can kind of pull through and wear crossbody um, or you can kind of even them out and wear that over your shoulder which I thought that was cute um, and inside I just I love all the pockets so you know just doing some background research on Chanel he, as a designer loved pockets so this bag is not lacking in the pocket department, like many of her bags. Um, so these are all snap closures. So there's one pocket in front, the snap closure for the center, and then one pocket um, on the other side. And then once you open this up, there are you know, stuffing out of here. So that's what the inside's gonna look like, and I know it's dark um, inside there, but so there's one zipper pocket on the back. And it says Chanel made in Italy. Um, and for everyone who may not know, your stamp or whatever um, kind of like logo in the purse, the metal of it should coincide with the metal in the bag. So mine says Chanel made in Italy in silver um, because my hardware is silver. And then on the other side, there seems to be a little um, cell phone holder and another smaller pocket. Hopefully you can see that. And there's also a um, little, you know, chain link for your keys. Authenticity card that comes in the bag. And uh, do I know? Oh, there it is. is that my little... Yay! So here's my little um, authenticity number. And that matches the card. This little guy was in there as well. And, oh, it's like sealed shut. What is this little thing? So I have a little folder that says Chanel on it. And this has, oh, it's basically saying don't overload your Chanel bag. Something that I was planning not to do. Um, and basically avoid exposure of the leather to sun and moisture. Should the product get wet, gently dry it um, with a natural colored absorbent non-fluffy cloth. Avoid contact of light colored patent leather with darker materials. And when not in use, store the product upright in a protective bag. And for further protection, line it with tissue and place chain straps inside so they do not mark the leather. Um, metal chains and fastenings should be polished with a, I don't even know how to say that word, cloth. Um, cool. So we get some instructions in there, care instructions, which is awesome. So I'll pop that down, and then the actual receipt. I'm sure you guys saw my <laughs> face before when I was looking at my receipt versus the tag on the bag um, and reason being is because my receipt price didn't match the price on the tag so my face is kind of like what why um, you know I'm I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to share this with you guys or not um, but I decided to because I just feel like when you're investing um, and pieces like Chanel and Louis Vuitton and all those fabulous luxury brands out there. There's a certain level of customer service that's expected. Um, and I, I got that at Chanel. So 
I saw a difference between what I paid on my receipt. Why I'm sure you guys are probably like, did she not check her receipt? Like what? Um, no, the bag was ordered for me, um, so I didn't. It was boxed. I you know checked it out. I didn't really look at the receipt. I mean, at the tag because it was already paid for at the time I was picking it up. Um, so hopefully that explains that. Um, but anyway, so right after I filmed the video, I kind of stopped and I called my sales associate, and her name's Kim. She's actually at the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey um, and she's just fantastic if anyone's looking for an awesome sales associate um, definitely go to her and I'll put their phone number on the bottom just in case um, but anyway back to the point so I called Kim um, she was busy with the customer she called me like within 10 minutes and I explained to her I'm like Kim you know the tag is a different price than our receipt and she was just so like apologetic and you know she explained that that should obviously not be the case and this bag had the tag from prior increase so I was just like I wonder what's gonna happen and I'm, I'm working in retail myself I have extremely um, high expectations of customer service in general um, and I was really blown away she literally was like Florina can you text me or send me a picture via text of the tag I'm like absolutely and I did and the reply text back was I'm so sorry we are crediting crediting the difference right back and that was it so thank you Kim uh, that was awesome. I mean, obviously that was in my favor, so I saved a little of my bag. And I don't know if you can see, but in the back corner over there, there's another Chanel bag. If you guys care, I can kind of explain why there's two bags. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more, I guess, or if you have any questions. I didn't see a review on YouTube on this bag, so normally I like check out YouTube anytime I want to purchase anything just to get reviews, and this one didn't have one. Um, so maybe I can do a you know review after wearing it a couple of times. Um, but yeah, so this is the bag. I mean, I think it's really cute. I don't know if anybody has any like comments about it, but tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. I, you know, didn't expect this twist at the end. Um, but hey, that makes for a cool first YouTube video. Uh, thanks guys.